Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Today I'm reviewing the new cigar from Room 101 and Matt Booth. This is the Big Payback. This is uh, a value-priced cigar, if you will, according to Matt. This is uh, this size is also called the Chevalier, uh, five by fifty. Nice looking Room 101 band and one at the foot, which you saw on the introduction. Now this is all Nicaraguan, and uh, as you can see, the, the the wrapper is very well made. It's just very slick, very well made. Has a little oil shine to the wrapper. Uh, there is your density. Very nice looking cigar. So uh, let's get right to it. The big payback. Oh, by the way, Matt says the name comes from a way to say thank you for all of the support he's had over these past several years with the Room 101 uh, brand. So he's it's a way of paying back to his loyal followers and uh, cigar lovers. So the big payback Robusto. All right, we've got a couple of things to do here. One is to remove this lower band, which it does appear to be very easy to uh, to come off. There we go. It's almost uh, see-through. I know you can't tell from there, but there we have the Room 101. We'll see that again later. As I said before, this is a very nice looking cigar and well made. Love the cap. Very nice. There we go. Effortless, totally effortless draw. There we go. Let's light her up. Well, the very first flavors I'm getting is a lot of what appears to be like a grapefruit citrus. But tied to it, or directly behind it, is a ton of uh, coffee, dark, dark coffee, uh, not quite espresso strength, but very close. Earth, that's about where we are at the beginning. That's what you're going to get. That's what hits you at the very first. Uh, hold on, let's get a check on the pepper strength. Black pepper at a seven and a half. Not much, to, uh, let's see, the finish. It's, it's a toasted cream, but there appears to be something else there. I'm gonna have to wait and see and let it nail down itself as we go but that's how we're starting the big payback nice start lots of uh grapefruit notes lots of coffee notes and a lot of earthy tones so uh, let's see where we go from here maybe an inch in and we're getting a few more flavor additions you can now add dry wood let's call it dry oak and a little sweetness from, I believe, is cedar. The finish still puzzles me somewhat. It's, it's almost like a, well, a toasted cream, but it's a little more than that. But that's the best I can describe it. It has a little sweetness to it. It's a nice, sweet toasted cream. And there is a lot of lingering black pepper on the finish, uh, quite a bit. So uh, I would call the cigar basically medium to full right now. Uh, so uh, let's just see what happens next. Excuse me, let's see what happens next. And uh, it's, it's, it's nice flavor additions going along here as we go, as we get deeper into it. Back to 
about two inches in now. Burning rather evenly. Got uh, the flavors on the front end are very balanced. I can detect easily the grapefruit, the sweet cedar, the coffee, and the earth. Um, and the wood, wood notes. Wood notes may be a little subtle. Let's back up. Wood notes are, are, are the most subtle of the five that I named. Now that mystery flavor on the finish, I have now nailed down because it's becoming a little more obvious. And believe it or not, it's a very faint, very low grade caramel. It's a toasted cream with faint low grade caramel notes. And that's what it tasted like before, but it wasn't quite as obvious as it is right now. Um, lots of lingering pepper, still medium to full bodied. Uh, very good, very good. Smoke it very slowly and you'll get all these flavors. As with any cigar, if you smoke it too fast, it's just hot mess. So smoke it slowly. As you can see that from the time, this is going to round out at close to about an hour or a little over. So uh, let's take our time and enjoy it. about a half inch further so we're at the midpoint two and a half inches in and there's a little richness and butteriness to the cedar notes now on the front end and it was worth coming back to say that because that's a big improvement in the flavor uh, aspect as far as the total flavor mix uh, the little rich the little bit of richness and the slight butteriness really adds a lot so it was worth coming back to tell you that, and that all get right at the midpoint. We're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. Time-wise, we're right where I thought we would be. The uh, cigar ended pretty much like it was in the last segment. You're going to have little fluctuations of intensity of certain flavors. The buttery notes decreased somewhat. The wood notes came out more. Uh, you know, little fluctuations, but all the flavor notes are still there, medium to full body, and um, burned very evenly. Very impressed with the burn. Um, nothing really bad to say about the cigar. If I'm being hypercritical, the slight richness we had at the midpoint did not really hang around throughout the cigar, and that would have been a killer thing. If it had stayed, this would have gotten a lot better score for me, but as it is, it's a good cigar. Uh, Matt Booth's got a good cigar here, Payback, Robusto. Very good. I'm rating it a 91. Uh, well worth you trying. Should be on shelves now anywhere that carries the Camacho and Room 101 brands, so give it a shot. So the uh, Payback, the big Payback, Robusto. <laughs>